All right, so the previous walkthrough that I gave you is if you're using the max link for two amplifiers and one or more subwoofers that are linked together. So you have your amps in a master slave configuration. Here I'm going to show you how you use the max link and its multiple outputs to feed signal to amplifiers that individually power subwoofers. So the first connection that you're going to make is your A and B positive outputs and you're going to connect those to amplifier 1's inputs. Next you'll come back to the max link and connect another set of RCA's from C and D positive output and those are going to go into amplifier number 2's inputs. So now what you've done is you've sent identical signal out of the positive outputs of the max link to the inputs on your amplifiers. So they have the same polarity and each one of these amplifiers are providing power to subwoofers independently, so not linked. All right, now this is the final walkthrough for the max link. And this is in a situation where you're using two amplifiers that have a master-slave function, but you're not going to be using them linked. Instead, you're going to switch your amplifiers to slave mode. So both have input slave settings. Each are going to individual subwoofers, so these two amplifiers are not linked. Now you go back to your max link, connect your RCAs to two positive outputs and from there you're going to go to your individual amplifiers to their slave inputs and at this point all of the work is done for you there are no adjustments that need to be made at all on these amplifiers when you use input slave you're accepting every bit of signal and control from the device that's sending that so the MaxLink has complete control